Shalom. It's time for love. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, unconditional love, unconditional peace, unconditional hope. Because our Lord has revealed His law of love. I am a lawgiver. I have given the Kingdom Aids covenant 10,000 times and that is what is foretold to end religion upon planet Earth in accordance with Hebrews 8. For when you hear the words correctly given from his messenger, the Lord's messenger of Malachi 3, 1, to prepare his own way, when you hear the words according to uh, Hebrews 8, when you hear I am your God, you are my people, all religion, well, that has been before. Uh, the kingdom is covenant of his unconditional love will just blow away as smoke and so in this hour it's time to realize that our Lord is arising as the living waves crashing upon the lighthouses of our lives and we are to reflect the light of Christ truly truly I say unto you no man can come to the Father but by the Son and the Son's name is love and those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. That is the secret name of Mark 4, and to which every knee will bow and every tongue will confess love is Lord. And so in this hour of crashing waves, it's time to have our living water from heaven going through us like rain as we uh, praise our Lord and lift up a good attitude and thankfulness and thanksgiving for him being our love for there is no good man not even one Romans 3 1 none of you are any good I'm no good <laughs> are you kidding we're no good that's the truth but we're all pretty good because Christ love is living within us and all sin is forgiven us except the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit which is for killing his light within us killing him within us there is no redemption so in these days we need to see that waterfalls would wouldn't sound so me melodious if there were no rocks in their way it's the rocks that give them the melody and the harmony of nature to bring forth the kind of tranquility that only uh, comes after the, the waves hit the rocks of life and become as foam. You ever see all those little white foam against the shore that's being uh, crashed upon by roaring waves? And so it's time to realize that we need to understand that we should never forget that only dead fish swim with the stream. You see, the problem is within our current religion system, which is all man-made, it really is. I mean, there's truth in all religion, people. And I condemn no religion, but I condemn unloving religious people. God says if you won't embrace that which lifts up his love, he's going to take the shit diary of pie of Malachi 2, put it right in the eye uh, for all those standing in the way of his message of his love, him saying, I am your God, you are my people. And that message is the one of uh, Jeremiah 110 that will tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations. So realize now that uh, our Lord God, he is water, steam, he is ice, he is one, he is three in one, the singularity of multiplicity, he is our living mercury. Take mercury, split it into three parts, while it's separate, it is still mercury, it does not change. And put it, all that mercury back together, it could be a hundred blobs of mercury or one blob and the thousand will come back into one blob of mercury, liquid metal. And when it comes back, it is mercury. So it never truly changes. Isa Yeshua, Jesus, was not um, a son of God. Yes, he was the son of God. That was his name. But who was he? Emmanuel, our God with us. He was God in the flesh. End of story. And if you don't like that story, realize that rivers, ponds, lakes, and streams, they all have different names like water, steam, and ice, which is the living water 
uh, of love, and they all contain water, just as all religions do contain certain truths. But know that our lives are like the water, always flowing forward in the streams of time. And when we encounter what is unexpected, then our best choice is to flow around the obstacles in the way. And so it's time to realize that we need to change directions and we need to send out the light of love unto all people. Uh, and so realize that we are the only creature out there that we consume without producing. We, we don't uh, give milk and we don't lay eggs and we've been too weak to, to pull a plow and we can't run fast enough to catch rabbits and yet we are the Lord over all of the animals and we have subjected all of creation unto us by asserting our authority over creation. But even though it was created for us, we haven't seen the forest for the trees. We haven't seen the depths of Christ's love that's been as a hidden iceberg. Only We've only seen the tip and he has saved the best for last. So know that there is a special magic in the living water of love that draws all men away from all spiritual bigotry and racism and will lead them to pull down the mountains and the uh, hills to lift up the valleys so that we can have the same exact Lord God of all. For all people, I am the Elijah of this age. All people have a false God if they have not the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And people have a false God if they don't have the false Christ. If they have a false Christ who is not the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, John 10. And you have a false God if your God is a God of conditional love when the Bible clearly says in Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35, that he has unconditional love. There are no conditions. As a matter of fact, in that Kingdom Age covenant in Jeremiah 31, read it and you will see the reason he wants to give this so that in the latter days he can now be the Lord God of Israel and all families of Israel. And for that reason, Israel has inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. And God has appointed them a new name, Isaiah 62, 2. In the latter days, he would appoint them a new name by his Elijah, his messenger, and the name he has given me for them is Chrislam because they have inherited all the uh, loving Christians and the Muslims within their ranks of the Abrahamic faith. Uh, and let that be your Hebrew hope too, people. Uh, because there is definitely a lot more than has met the eye. And so in this hour, all things will be accomplished, not by power, nor by might, but by the spirit of love moving forth as a river of his blessedness. And so it is time to go out into the deep. Our treasure of excellence is calling us and realize uh, that it is time to understand that uh, we have clear direction from on high. If only we will raise our hands to heaven and glorify the Son of Love who is rising with healing under his wings. And upon this latter day mountain of Isaiah 25, one covered with spiritual food for the people of love, um, who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away. It's, we have grown up people. We, it is time for no more milk. It is time for meat. And I have prepared a smorgasbord of meat of the word of love that has never had any bounds. We put wrong definitions on everything. Many are going to say, Lord, I believed I did this, I did that. And he's going to say, I didn't know you. You turned your light off of love. I am Shiloh and I hold the scepter of all authority. I'm telling you guys as it is. Adam and Eve had no belly buttons, people. And that's for damn sure. I tell you.